<laughs> That's a key shot. Oh, the fruit of the sweet's not a coconut. Fruit of the sweet's not a coconut. You wanna be a coconut? Might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the sweet, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, peace. Kind of skin is ever this gem of this self control. Love, joy, peace, peace. Kind of skin is ever this gem of this self control. Oh, the fruit of the sweet's not a banana. Fruit of the sweet's not a banana. You wanna be a banana? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, peace. It's kind of skin to save from this jam on this self control. Love, joy, peace, peace. It's kind of skin to save from this jam on this self control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. Fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. You wanna be a watermelon? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace. Spirit's not a lemon. You wanna be a lemon? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause a fruit is love, joy, peace, peace. It's kind of skin is able to jam on this self control. Love, joy, peace, peace. It's kind of skin is able to jam on this self control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. The fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. You wanna be a cherry? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause a fruit is love, joy, peace. Spirit's not a grape. Fruit of the spirit's not a grape. You wanna be a grape? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, peace. It's kind of skin to save for this jam on this self control. Love, joy, peace, peace. It's kind of skin to save for this jam on this self control. Love, joy, peace, peace. It's kind of skin to save for this jam on this self control. Love, joy, peace, peace. It's kind of skin to save for this jam on this self Kids, welcome back to another week of MCA Kids at Home. We're really glad you were able to join us, yes. and we hope you enjoyed your worship time. Um, let's get into it today. Miss Debbie, what are we learning? Today we are going to talk, of course, it's Mother's Day. So first of all, we want to take a moment. We want to wish all you moms out there a happy Mother's Day. And I don't know if you kids have been able to give your moms a big hug and a, a kiss and let them know how much you appreciate and love them. Yeah. And today we're going to find out what God's Word tells us about Mother's Day. Did you know that while we're talking about Mother's Day, um, gifts are very accepted. We love to get them. Yeah. But ex uh, gifts aren't always something that comes to us in a box. Yeah. They're not always wrapped up, especially the gifts that God gives. Yes. These gifts are people. He gives us special people like moms, and he gives them to us so that we can love, but more of all, so that they can love us, they can teach us kindness, they could teach us about God's word, mm -hmm. and that's the best gift we can have, is having a mom that just show, so much teaches us about God. Yeah, so did you guys know that actually in the Bible, there are a few verses, quite a few verses about moms. Yeah, there I didn't are. know that. I didn't know there were so many. All there's right. more than we, the yeah, few we picked out. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, so let's grab our Bibles and get ready to learn a little something in the Bible. Um, we're going to Proverbs, I think, thirty-one, yes, twenty-five through thirty-one. Grab your Bibles. Get there. Get your Bible. All right. Are we ready? All right. Proverbs 31, 25 through 31 says, She speaks with wisdom, and faithful instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive, and beauty is fleeting. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her the reward she has earned, and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. Awesome. Now, Anissa, what's the next one you said you were going to do? The next one is Ephesians 6, 1 through 3. And you guys don't have to go there. You can just watch on the screen where it is, so you don't have to move in your Bibles. All righty, 6, 1 through 3. 
It says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. And last, but this is definitely not least, because there is more that are in the Bible referring to moms, but we're going to be doing James 1, 17. 17. Okay. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heaven, heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. I never knew how many verses there were about moms in yeah. the Bible. <clears throat> Quite a few. Yeah. But we do know that some people out there don't have moms, specifically moms. That they live with. Yeah, that they live with. The word mom is, yes. is a hard word. Um, but we know that you guys live with someone who loves you like a mother would. And God has placed them there um, for the sole purpose that they would love you like your mother would. Yes. Um, they love you and they take care of you and they want nothing better for you than for life to be good. Yeah, and moms yeah. could be moms, moms could be grandmas, Yes. moms could be foster moms, yep. an aunt, you know, there's all kinds of women that are moms. Mm -hmm. Now moms are very busy people, and they do lots of things for us. They take care of their families, they take care of the house, and some of them even go out and work. Mm -hmm. um, and they get very busy, but they do so much more than, than we even think of and realize it. Yeah. Have you ever wondered what your mom might have inside her purse? I know when my kids were little, I didn't let them go in through my purse. So that's a good question. I don't know. Do you go through your mom's purse? Um, my mom used to carry like a really big purse. It was really heavy. But so did I you know what was in it? Change. Change. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of change. But that's what made it so heavy? Let's find out what's in my purse. Let's do it. Let's do it. I carry my phone, cute little pink bag, <laughs> um, with the way life is going right now, unfortunately, I carry a mask. I always have a couple of masks in my purse because we need them. Mm -hmm. I think I have it upside down. Um, <laughs> what else do I have in here? I have my keys. Wonderful. Keys, because I need keys to you know, get places. It's true. Oh, and I have a lips, lip gloss. Can't go home without lip gloss, even though I really can't wear it because of my mask. Oh. Um, and then, open my first one, I don't know. Tissues? Oh, yes. I have tissues. There's a lot in there. I do, I do. <laughs> I have a couple packs. Yeah. <laughs> but why do you think I carry tissue, Anissa? To wipe your boogers. Boogers on children? <laughs> That's a good one, yes. <laughs> but realistically, I bet you don't realize how much your moms pray for you. And when we're praying for our children, we cry. So tissues are a necessity because we don't have to be at home when we're praying for our kids. Yeah. We could be at work, we could be at the grocery store, we could be sitting in our car outside of our house because do we really want to walk in just yet? It might be crazy in there. <laughs> but then we start praying and our hearts melt and God answers our prayers and sometimes he makes us wait, but we have tissue for that. Okay. All right. And then there? else, let's see, was it? Okay, next, I have a mint. Sometimes I have chewing gum. Mm. What do you think that would represent? I think a mint in a mom's purse probably represents um, a sweet something from God's word. And a word of encouragement, um, yes. a word of sweetness, kindness, love. Yes, that's what moms carry sweets in their purse for. And then I have. What else we got? Ooh, a comb. Mm. In the mornings when we're getting ready and we're combing out our hair, you know, we have to stop and think and remember to put on our helmet of salvation. Mm. We're going to start our day and we got to be ready for it so that we can make sure that we're training and teaching our children properly. Yeah. Moms have a really big job in that. Mm -hmm. And let's see what else we might have. Um, mm. A Bible. Just a small little Bible. Small little Bible. And what do you think the Bible's going to represent? Well, we know it represents, but yeah. why do you think we carry it in our purse? I mean, I think moms carry it in their purse, um, not only to have an encouraging word, but to always have it with them and to always um, 
you know, keep their child in check using the Bible. Yeah. You know, always have words from the Bible in their heart, making sure they know it. And that's the main thing. It may not always be inside of our purse. Some of us have little ones in our purse, but yeah. a lot of us just have it in our hearts. And our phones. Because and on our phones. Yeah. Because the Bible is very important and we can't raise children without teaching on talking about the Bible. Exactly. And living that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. So that's what we moms carry in our purses. Yep. Just a few of the things. I'm sure your mom might have so much more. <laughs> yeah. Things, you know. Yeah. She said her mom had a big old one with change, all kinds of change. Well, I mean, it was this size, but it was just so heavy. Well, you made it sound like my, it was okay, a really it was big. Huge. It was just like, it was a size, it was just heavy. So keep in mind that moms know what they're talking about when they're teaching us. Yeah. You know, they're, yep. they're reading, they've got it close to their heart, they're praying for you. Yeah, just remember everything that you see your mom does, she does so much more than what yes. you see. Um, yeah, so much more. And yeah. we should always remember to love them and appreciate them no matter what. Um, and just make sure to tell your mom Happy Mother's Day today. Yes, give them lots of hugs. Yep. Little back rubs. Those will work too. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's it for our object lesson. Um, do we have a craft? We do have a craft. Now we know that, you know, we can't be taking moms out to dinner. We can't, you know, go to an amusement park. We can't even come to church this Sunday. We're doing it here. But, you know, get things around your house and make your mom something special. We're going to give you a little idea of something that we've decided that you could possibly do. Yeah. With things you have at home. Yeah. All right? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. For this craft, we have three pieces of paper. Ours are colored, but you don't need colored paper necessarily. No. You can use white paper. Yes. You can color the white paper if you'd like, but white paper will do just fine. You could decorate it a little. Um, so three pieces of paper, colored paper, white paper, whatever paper. Anything laying around your house. Yeah. You know. Um, you're going to need a pair of scissors. Be very careful. Yes, careful. You're going to need one marker. You we have, have two, two. Just because we're both going to be writing. <laughs> <laughs> but one marker, pen, pencil, whatever Crayon. you have. Pen, yes. yeah. A colored pencil. Chalk. 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 You know what? You can even do a big old one outside, do a sidewalk chalk. I guess you could. Flower and do your car yeah. cream on outside too. That's That'd cute. I'm sure her. That's cute. And then last, we have glue or tape or staples. Something. Or a sidewalk chalk, you don't need any of Exactly. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a flower on your paper. first piece of paper, okay? Or the concrete. Or the concrete. <laughs> okay. I like that term. So sidewalk chalk now. Let's draw our flower. I prefer. Beautiful circle. She's good. Look at that. I know. One, right? That's that fine. good. That's beautiful. You have to be extra close. You, you could do it any way you want. There's no right or wrong way when you make a craft. Yeah. You're making it from your heart. You might have some more than five, though. Go That's ahead. okay. I know it is. That one came out a little funky. Though. It's okay. No flower is all the same. That would be six. There you go. Beautiful. This Look is my flower. And she did so good with that flower. All right. Now, so after you make your flower, what else? You're going to copy the petals. I don't know if you could do them exactly the same again, but you're going to try. Yeah, no. <laughs> you can't do the best you can. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, maybe. You know what? Yeah. You just, you just do your just petals. Your I was like, you can just make your own petals. There you can. Go. And these don't have to be perfect because you're just going to cut them up and put them over these petals. Yes. Smooth. I mean, I can kind of see it. So trace your petals. The best you can. The best you can. And it's okay if they're too small on one or too big on another. It's okay. You know, moms don't get picky about these things. They just love them. Comes from the heart. That's right. So All while right. you're, um, yeah, look at that. Okay. You should have brought me a first because I can help you cut. Okay. You can. I'll let you make a circle. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, there you go. I'll take this and I'll start cutting. And all we're going to do is cut out our petals. And then over here on a separate piece of paper, I'm making a circle um, from a different 
piece of paper. That's what your third paper is for, is just a circle. Yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna take my flower and I'm going to glue each petal on the flower just from the top, so I'll show you right now. I have glue just at the top of my flower and I'm gonna put this right there. All right, so now you do it. Alrighty, so in the middle of your flower, in the middle of the circle, the yellow circle right here, yes. we're gonna write mom, M, O, M, and then we're gonna put is, I, S. Very um, good. We're also gonna go dot, dot, dot. I like that. Okay. So mom is dot, dot, dot. And then under these, we're gonna write a few things, six things yes. that our mom is. So you go first, Miss Debbie. Mom is love. Love. Okay. Mom is funny. Mom is My friend. Mm. Mom is pretty. Mom makes me happy. Mm. And last, mom is the best cook. There you go. There you go. So now you should have six things that you think your mom is. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. And then now you can write on the bottom uh, to mom. Yes. Right? Love. I miss it since you made that one. I miss it. I just helped you. I miss it in the study. Okay. <laughs> okay. And remember, you don't have to do the things we put under there. You might have other things that you th that makes you remember your mom when you think about. And then you could write them underneath her petals. Mm hmm And then give her this flower as her gift. Yeah. All right. That's it. That is it for today. Look at her, she's just making some more doodles there. So cute. All right. Have, have a day. great week. Yep, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And you kids be good to your mom. Yes. And keep close to God. We love you. We love you. Miss you. See you soon. Bye. Beside.
Wonder and show me who you are. 